Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday this morning, and the sky is, I don't know, go take a look and tell me what the sky looks like. The sky looks like it has some clouds in it. Oh, it's been so cloudy every day. Oh, I wish it would be sunny, but it's not raining right now, and it's not super cold. So maybe today we can go outside, even though there's clouds in the sky. I'm going to go sit on my porch this morning after a little while. I can't wait. I can't. What am I missing? I'm missing something on my face. What's missing? Oh, my glasses. Oh, let me. Oh, let me see. Oh, there you are. Good morning. How are you this morning? Um, well, it's not going to be afternoon by the, time, by the time you see this video, so good afternoon also. Um, today is Wednesday, like I said, and one of our little friends would come in the classroom every Wednesday and she would say, Happy Hump Day! So, Happy Hump Day, everybody! It is still March. It is March the 25th, and I love the number 25. The number 25 is one of my favorite numbers. It is also 25 cents, which makes a quarter. And 25 is one fourth of 100. That means if you have 25 four times and add them together, it makes 100. So 25 is a pretty cool number. So let's go look at our calendar today. Today is March the 25th. I'll get back a little farther so we can see the whole calendar. And it's March, which is the third month of the year. The year is 2020, and we just call it 2020. So our first month was January. Our second month was February, and now this is March. And let's go ahead and count up to the 25 for Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Go ahead and count. Get your county finger out. Let me see all your fingers. Show me. Good job. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 this is March 25th, 2020. And how many days do we have left in the year or in the month? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just six days. Wow, March is almost over and after March it will be April. I love the word April. It's also a beautiful name. I put my calendar away and what do we need to do? I forgot. Boy, I'm forgetting everything this morning. Oh, it's circle time. I forgot to ring our bell. Oh, I love the sound of our bell. And this morning, so yesterday I wore a superhero t-shirt. This morning I am wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. My Star Wars t-shirt. I love my Star Wars t-shirt. It is uh Darth Vader and Obi-Wan, I think. I hope somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. My husband would correct me if I'm wrong. I love Star Wars. Star Wars is my very favorite. Um, after superheroes, of course, because I love superheroes. Um, so the other night, my husband and I, we watched uh, The Last Skywalker together. That was the final Star Wars movie they made. And it's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, it's an excellent movie to watch with your family. Um, so speaking of family, how are you all doing? kind of hard being home all the time and not seeing our friends. Um, we had uh, one of our favorite books in our classroom that we read was about friendship. And this morning, I'm going to read that book to you. If you remember, it was um, a sweet book about friends that moved away from each other. It was called Half a World Away because one lived on one side of the country, of the world, the big round world, and one lived on the other side of the world. And so it was half a world away. So we're going to read Half a World Away this morning. And we talked about this book because it has a very special jacket on it. See the jacket? 
And I'm gonna take the jacket off and underneath the jacket, it's a different color than the jacket. Do you see how, see that? It's very different. I'm gonna take the jacket off and read it without the jacket. And then we can have the cover just like that. And those are our friends. Okay, all right, let's read. Half a World Away by Libby Gleason and Freya Blackwood. And who would the author be? Would that be the person that drew the pictures or the person that wrote the words? Our author is Libby Gleason and she wrote the words, very good. And then Freya Blackwood, she is our illustrator. And our illustrator does what? That's right, our illustrator draws the pictures. So I'm gonna show you the inside cover. So here's the cover of our book. And when we open it up, we see clouds. Have you ever looked up at the clouds and imagined that they were different things like animals or people or sceneries or pointy fingers? Sometimes the clouds make shapes that make us think of other things. I think that they're gonna do that in this book. Half a World Away, and this is our very first picture, and there's our title, Half a World Away. And the front picture looks like the front cover. Isn't that sweet? I like this cover because they're sitting and looking at you on the front, but when I turn the book around and you look at the back of the book, you see their backs. And then when I turn it around, you see their faces. That's very clever. I like that a lot. It's really cool. Half a world away. Amy and Louie built towers as high as the sky. They dug hole, holes deep enough to bury bears in, and they saw magical creatures in the clouds. Are they using their imaginations? Do you see their tower? That's not as high as the sky, but in their mind they think it is. And do you see the hole they dug right there? It's not deep enough to bury things like bears, but in their mind, it's super deep. That's what, and look at them looking up at the clouds and they're imagining magical things in the clouds. When Amy was in a sandbox and Louie was on the swing, she called him across the yard with a special word her mother taught her. Cooey, Louie. She would call, and Louie always came to play. You're calling, Cooey, Louie. When Louie was in the dress up corner and Amy was with the Play Doh, he called her across the room with the same special words. He would call, Cooey. Amy always came to play. Can you call Amy? Cooey, Amy. There he is calling his friend. And there she is. Amy always came to play. And when they were at home, they called to each other across the fence. Cooey, Louie. And Louie would call back, Cooey, Amy. One of them would soon be climbing up through the gap with their secrets to share. They climbed over the fence so they could be together. They were best friends. But one day, Amy and her family moved away. A long, long way away. And there's their neighborhood and their moving truck, and they are moving away. Look at our little friend. He is not happy about Amy leaving, is he? She moved to the other side of the world. She moved to a big city. There she is. She does not look very happy. 
what am I doing in this big city without my Louie? Louis stopped building towers, digging holes, and staring at clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard, the room, or the fence. He thought about Amy every day and every night. Louis looks pretty sad. In the place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or to build towers, and the clouds only held raindrops, not magical creatures anymore. She thought about Louis every day and every night. See the picture? There she is, I was covering her with my hand. She's walking with her mama in the big city probably thinking about Louie. If I call Amy really loudly, she'll hear me, won't she? Louie asked his mom. His mom shook her head. Amy's too far away, she said. When you are awake in the day, she is asleep at night. If I call Amy really loud, will she hear me? She'll hear me, won't she, Dad? Louie asked his dad. Dad shook his head. No, Amy is half a world away. When she is awake in the day, you are asleep at night. Oh, if I call Amy really loud, louder than anything, any call she's ever heard, will she hear me? He asked his grandma. Well, maybe, said his grandma. You should try it. He's asking his mama, he's asking his daddy, and then he goes and asks his grandma. And his grandma said, you should try it. I think grandma knows how he's feeling. So Louis spread his arms wide, as wide as he could, and he threw back his head and he called, Cooey, Amy. He called it so loud. There he is in his neighborhood, calling for Amy. There's Louis right there, really, really small. And he's in his yard and he's calling, Cooey, Amy. Let's see what happens. He, his cry rang out across the yard and across the street and past the edges of the town. It went all across that town and across that water and across that bridge. Louis fell back and stared at the clouds. He saw that they were making strange seahorses and wild dragons. The clouds didn't just hold raindrops anymore. Look at those clouds across the ocean. The clouds were making beautiful shapes. and right into the town, the big city where Amy lived, those clouds flew right over the town where Amy lived. The same clouds that Louis saw. Across the ocean in the city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke up and came sleepily to breakfast. I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Louis and he called to me. those clouds and Amy's telling her mama I had a lovely dream. Louie called to me in my dream. Half a world away Louie slept smiling in his dream. He's having a dream about his best friend and she had a dream about him. And then the back of the cover is just the clouds again. I love that story because when Louis called to Amy, the, the sound of his call came in through the clouds and the clouds moved all the way to where Amy was and Amy dreamed about them and she knew that Louis was calling to her. 
Did you know that even though you can't play with your friends, you can call your friends on your phones, you can uh, video chat with your friends, and even if you can't do that, when you look outside and you look at the gloomy, cloudy sky, your friends look outside also, and they see the exact same sky you see. And if it was sunny and they looked up and saw the sunny sky, you would look up and you would see the exact same sun they saw. And they probably miss you as much as you miss them, but that's okay because soon, very soon, hopefully, we'll be back at school and we'll be able to play with our friends and we'll be able to have fun with our friends again. But in the meantime, your friends are watching this video just like you and I'm sharing this video with you. And so in a way, we're all together at the same time. I am gonna send your parents a very special video link to our zoo song today. So if you want to see your friends and visit your friends, you can watch our zoo song and think about our song. You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. I love you.